All right, so we're back, and uh, now we're showing you basically all the soldering we've had to do. We've soldered the on-off switch, okay? We've gone ahead and soldered all the wires onto the motors, and I feel confident that we're ready to proceed now with uh, building the actual uh, mobile platform from DF, from DF Robots, and uh, we're pretty good to go. So, I'm just going to kind of move some things out of the way and get things oriented and zoom out a little bit. So let's backtrack to where we were. Now, we are getting ready to build it, put it all together, okay? So, what I like to do is, is I normally mount all these components first, little things onto them before I put them together. A lot of kits sometimes say go ahead and mount them after. I just don't like that idea simply because it makes it that much more difficult to mount. Now these switches, if you're not familiar with them, there's usually three components to it. Um, this little piece here that on some kits, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, has like a little, uh, let's see, snag there. There you go. Okay. Now I'm not going to take that one off. I'm actually going to leave it on and I'm just going to slip it through this small hole here and I'm going to try to keep this straight so that way I can go ahead and mount this as I need to and just with my hand kind of screw it on there now up is the on position so I want to remember that so when I go to mount this I like to mount it you know so I know which way is on and off okay so that's mounted on there now I'm just going to take my pair of pliers Give it a good turn. Doesn't have to be too tight, but tight enough so that this thing does not move around on you. This is probably one of the most common pieces on a robot that actually gets loose, and you don't want it to come loose. As you can see, it mounts easily. There are the wires. So down in this position here is actually off. Okay, that means that these two wires are the upper ones. So that's what's going to complete the circuit once you're ready to go. Okay, so let's start by putting this all together. Now, this is basically just going to go like so. And there's a few common screws here. Now, what I'm going to do is to build the actual unit, I'm going to use the screws that, that well, basically the, the, one, the screws that we have the most of, which are these. Now, I'm going to start by just simply screwing these in. Sure enough, it screws in without a problem. There we go. Okay. Ah, pretty good. Flip it over. Now, just uh, so you know, I think this would be a great platform to start off with. And if you're looking to get into a more advanced robot kit, it looks like I tightened it too much there. Let's move these off to the side. I'm going to loosen this just a smidge to give me enough wiggle room here to screw in the other side. So there's a little fun fact for you. Don't tighten it all the way until you've got the screw in on both sides. Now once you have that one in, okay, go ahead and go back to the other side. Tighten that one up. So we screwed that in as you can see on the other side. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and screw in the other one. Now this doesn't go in any special way, it just kind of goes in. Again, don't screw it in all the way. Let's leave you some wiggle room for the next side. Go and go back and tighten the other side up. All 
all right. Don't worry that these wires are flying everywhere. And you don't have to worry about what's where, what motor goes where or whatnot, because this will all be wired down afterwards when you're done. I'm going to leave that one loose. Let's put in the next one here. Leaving that one loose, flipping it over. Okay. Alright. So that's now screwed in. Now I'm gonna give it a good turn. Now you can give it tight, you can make it real tight, just make sure you don't strip the screws because this is all metal, so it's not going to easily strip on you. I would not recommend, just like I recommend with all the other kits, to use power tools when you're putting them together, unless it's a big one, a big kit that's uh, you know, like a combat robot or something like that, but these types of kits, I would not recommend doing that. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is here, now there's no orientation to this. They're both the same. So I'm going to just pick a side and I'm going to pick it based off my on-off switch. Now what I like to do is I always like to have the downward be the off and upward be on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount what I think is the bottom part of the robot, the, back, the bottom uh, cover. You have two parts, one with this, one with many holes on it and some slits and one with none. So I'm assuming that this one is the one that's going to go on the bottom. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm just going to quickly mount this here. Sure enough I see that it fits on like a glove. Very straightforward. Again don't tighten them all until you have them in place and in this situation I would put it in the screws diagonally. Makes it easier to line up things later. This last one you can go ahead and tighten all the way. At this point, there we go. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. So there we go. Looks nice so far, and you can see that this is a very simple kit to put together. Um, having no problems whatsoever moving right along. So what's next? So looks like I can go ahead and mount this if I wanted to but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and look at the battery pack because the battery pack actually looks like it mounts inside here like so and if that's the case I need to take care of that first now I saw some people online that went ahead and skipped that and they actually just put a regular sure enough this fits in there and there are two holes there well, this will be mounted towards. Now, one thing I did that I did not mention is that I made sure that the cables that come off the battery pack are on the same side as the cables for the on-off switch because this on-off switch will be used to actually connect this and get this to work right. So, you know, you're actually going to wire this together and then this will become your new power right here, these two. So we'll get into that in a bit, but for now, let's just go ahead and mount that. For that, we're going to need two of these flat screws. They're different than the rest. So, let's see, I'm not sure if these require a nut of any kind, but I'm pretty sure they're going to because I don't see how they're going to screw in there. fit in but they're definitely going to need a nut of some sort. I'm going to take one of these extra nuts that are laying, hanging around here. I don't know if they fit in nicely. Let's go ahead and take the next one. Just kind of put it through there. These are the big nuts now that I'm using. First time. The other ones were the small ones. We uh, have none of those left over. So I'm just going to kind of hand tighten this real quick. 
Sure enough, I'm going to need to use my pliers to hold this up for me. So. Now remember, don't tighten this too much. Even though you're tightening this into, you know, the actual base. Reason why is because you're tightening into the plastic battery holder, so you might crack that. You don't want to crack that because then it's going to be very hard to mount that later. So as you can see, that's what we've done. That was very straightforward. Now, before I start putting everything together, like the top portion, I'm going to go ahead and see how I have to mount these wheels. These wheels look like they mount on easily, no screws really. Sure enough, that's exactly what happens. I'm just kind of pressing them on there. Uh, it does look like it has a hole there, but there's no screw on the other side to actually put them in place. Now, if you find that your wheels start falling off on you after some time, this is plastic, so you know you can go ahead and just get some, you know, get the glue gun or Gorilla Glue or any type of glue that's not going to melt this plastic. Oops, one of these wheels popped off on me. There you have it. So now we have wheels on the kit. As you can see, it's very straightforward, very simple, easy to put together. You have this in the back. I mean, this is really. Honestly, this is really great. Again, you can start off with this kit, and then your next step up might be the Lynx Motion uh, four-wheel drive platform, which is off-roading. It's an off-road platform, which is really nice, and it's got a similar build to this one. Um, even similar look, and uh, I, re I recommend checking out that review so you can see how close these are related to each other. One thing I will take note of right away is that there is not a lot of room inside of this. You have your batteries, and that's about it. Okay. So the next step will be to actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start wiring this up a little bit because we don't have uh, much of an option here. I'm going to move the motor wires over to the side, and I'm going to look at these wires now, kind of make a assessment of this. Okay, 